Falcon 9 is in startup. Falcon 9 is in startup. Our first and second stages are pressurizing for launch. Go for launch. Our launch director has given that final go for launch. All systems are go. Let's listen in to the terminal count and watch as Falcon 9 takes our 53 Starlink satellites into orbit. T minus 30 seconds. T minus 15. Five, four, three, two, one, lift off. Orange telemetry nominal. What beautiful views from Falcon 9 first as it lifts off from Cape Canaveral Launch Complex 40 at Cape Canaveral Space Falcon Force is supersonic. Station. We are carrying our 53 Starlink satellites to orbit. Moments ago, we throttled our engines down in preparation for max Q or maximum aerodynamic pressure, which we should be passing through in just a few moments. Max Q. We did just pass through max Q, and we will have three events happening in quick succession in just a few minutes, which first we will have main engine cutoff, followed by stage separation, and second engine startup one. So first main engine cutoff, or MECO, is where all nine of the Merlin 1D engines that you can currently see firing will shut off to slow the vehicle down in preparation for stage separation. And this is where the first and second stages will separate with the first stage starting to make its way back down to Earth for landing while second stage continues on its journey to this start. third event, which is second engine startup one. And this is where the single MVAC engine on the second stage will light up. And this propels the MVAC, uh, propels the second stage along with our Starlink satellites to their targeted orbit. We're about 30 seconds from main engine cutoff here. You'll want to watch for uh, main engine cutoff, stage separation, and SES-1. They'll happen just a few seconds apart from one another. We will also have our fairing deployment from our second stage uh, very shortly after those three events, and we should hopefully get some cool live views from our second stage. You can see the Falcon 9 first stage going through uh, the Go. mist there. Stage separation confirmed. We did have main engine cutoff and stage separation. You can see second engine MVAC startup. Ignition. We did have MVAC ignition. That is second engine startup. On those live views from the second stage on your right, you can see the first stages for- Fairing separation confirmed. <laughs> Fairing has also separated on our second stage. You can see our 53 Starlink satellites there. And there on your left, the first stages, four hypersonic group fins have deployed. And again, we did have that successful fairing separation and fairing, uh, SpaceX has now reflown Falcon fairing halves since November of 2019. And again, this was our third flight for one of those fairing halves and second flight for the other half. We'll be attempting to recover those fairing halves again today using our recovery vessel fin. The stage two is heading towards its targeted drop-off orbit for our Starlink satellites, and stage one will execute two burns in order to make its way back down to Earth. The first is the entry burn, where three of the M1D engines will reignite. Acquisition of signal, Bermuda. Reignite, and this helps slow the stage down as it re-enters the upper part of the Earth's atmosphere. 
The second burn is the landing burn, and this is a single engine burn that brings the vehicle speed down rapidly in order to land on the drone ship. You can see those beautiful views from the first and second stages. Those little puffs of white gas you see on the first stage are nitrogen gas from our attitude control system. And the second stage MVAC engine is continuing its burn, carrying our 53 Starlink satellites. If you're just catching up with us, we had a successful launch of Falcon 9 from Cape Canaveral Space Force Station, Slick 40, and you're looking at live views of Falcon 9's first and second stages, as second stage is on its way to deliver our Starlink payload to orbit, and stage one is making its way back to our drone ship, just read the instructions in the Atlantic Ocean. Now, the Merlins on the first stage. Both vehicles are following nominal trajectories. Both vehicles are on nominal trajectories, as you just heard. And again, the nine Merlins on the first stage are optimized for sea level. So this means they achieve 190,000 pounds of thrust during ascent and descent. And the MVAC engine on the second stage, by contrast, is optimized for vacuum. Uh, and it produces 220,500 pounds of thrust in vacuum. You can see the first stage live views of the hypersonic grid fins, and they are positioned near the top of the first stage. And they're used for steering as the first stage makes its way back down to Earth. And again, these grid fins, you can see them moving around. Uh, they do help to orient the rocket during re-entry and guide the rocket during descent. Falcon 9 first stage is also equipped with four landing legs made of state-of-the-art carbon fiber with aluminum honeycomb, and they are placed symmetrically around the base of the rocket, and they'll deploy just prior to landing. In just about 20 seconds here, we'll be coming up on our stage one entry burn. And this is a three engine burn meant to slow the first stage down as it hits the thicker parts of the Earth's atmosphere. And it'll be about a 20 second burn. Stage one FTS is safe. Stage one entry burn start up. We did have the start of our stage one entry burn. You can see on those live views, that's a three engine burn of the Falcon 9 first stage. Both vehicles are following nominal trajectories. Stage one entry burn shut down. We did have a successful stage one entry burn. And stage two is continuing to look good with our Starlink payload. For those of you who follow along, you'll know about the soot on the rocket indicates that it's been flown before. And here's an, an, a quick explanation of how that soot forms. So the rocket grade kerosene or RP1 used to fuel a Falcon 9 is carbon based. So when this fuel burns, it generates soot. Now, as the booster approaches the landing site during descent and does its long re-entry burn, which it just did, to slow down prior to re-entering the atmosphere. Uh, the rocket will actually fly through its own plume, which deposits the soot onto the rocket. And if you watch the feed from the onboard cameras during landing, you can see that soot sticking on the lens. So we will have three events coming up here in quick succession. The stage one landing burn, uh, which will be starting here shortly, in the last about 20 seconds. Vehicle Follow is in terminal guidance. Stage one landing burn start up. Here's the stage one landing burn. Can maybe just make out that drone ship in the Atlantic Ocean there. What a cool view. Stage one landing leg deploy. Stage two FTS is safe. We did get confirmation that stage two uh, flight termination system has saved, and we should have second engine cutoff here very shortly. Tico one. 
We did have second engine cutoff here and we are waiting on confirmation of a good orbit from our second stage. We did have a good burn Nominal and a orbit good orbit. Insertion. We are still waiting for confirmation of our first stage landing, but we will uh, see if we can't get some uh, information on that. <laughs> but we do have a successful uh, orbit and second engine cutoff stage for our confirmed. second stage. And we did just get confirmation of our stage one landing. Of signal, Newfoundland. This is the 87th overall successful recovery of our Falcon 9 first stage. And next up will be payload deployment at about T plus 15 minutes uh, and a half, 15 and a half minutes. So while we coast for the next six minutes or so, sit back and enjoy the tunes and we'll see you soon.
Welcome back. If you're just joining us, a quick recap of today's mission. We had a successful liftoff from Cape Canaveral Space Force Station at 7.19 a.m. Eastern Time. We then had successful stage separation, recovered our first stage after its ninth flight on our drone ship, just read the instructions, and had a successful second, engine, second stage MVAC engine burn. We are now waiting on the deployment of our Starlink satellites. That should be happening in just about 30 seconds here. Hopefully we continue to get a good ground station coverage and get signals from our payload and can continue to see these great live views of that payload there. And we have 53 Starlink satellites on today's mission. What a beautiful view from our second stage. Again, Starlink is a satellite internet constellation designed in many- Starlink oh. deploy confirmed. You can see we did have successful deployment of our Starlink satellites here. And again, Starlink is a satellite internet constellation designed and manufactured by SpaceX that can provide high speed, low latency internet to people living in remote and rural locations all around the globe. You can see our 53 Starlink satellites floating away from the second stage there with the beautiful backdrop of the Earth in the background. And with that, uh, the addition of these satellites, we've launched nearly 2000 Starlinks to orbit to date. And with that, that brings today's webcast to a close. Thank you to the Range and Federal Aviation Administration for supporting today's mission. And of course, thank you to all of our viewers and all of our Starlink customers for, who are using our service at this time. If you're interested in signing up for Starlink service, head over to starlink.com. As always, thanks for watching and see you next time.